global happenings today. We communicate. We analyze global news. Stay tuned. Hello, people. Welcome back to Global Happenings Today YouTube channel. Just the final leg of what happened or transpired in um, PEPT court today at Abuja, where um, Labour Party is logging out with INEC, APC, Bola Metinibu, and Shotima. We were actually on the uh, witness stage where the cloud engineer uh, was actually being cross examined. He had gone through the first, second, Third responder, but actually is on the fourth responder, which is actually uh, APC, and is actually being champion cross examined by Latif Fagbemi, senior advocate of Nigeria. So let's continue. For some of us who missed it, uh, the whole process at the beginning, please check our playlist. You get to see it all. Okay, well, let's continue. Now the the lawyer asked her, "You agree with me that the password protocol will contain how parties to an agreement can go into an amend or adjust anything on the application?" The witness said, can't speak to password protocol. The, uh, the lawyer now asked, you are not representing, you are not representing Amazon in this case. The witness said, I'm here as an expert witness. The lawyer asked, in Cross River State where you contested, did you file an election petition? Witness said, no. The lawyer asked, apart from the outage that occurred in 2021, are you aware of one of the sept one of September second, twenty twenty one, witness said can't verify that one. The lawyer now asks, there was a glitch then, and if it happened then, it can happen again. The witness said anything is possible. The fourth respondent has rested. Now, Doctor Levi said, and he said to open up. He said, look, the plan, the belief succeeded in seven INEC. The belief rather succeeded in is seven. INEC, we are calling INEC rep to inform the court whether she came to court with a document that INEC is supposed to produce. INEC rep now said, my name is Fumilayo Taiwo. I am here on behalf of the chairman. The subpoena was successfully served to INEC, so they sent Fumilayo Taiwo to drop the document in INEC's possession. Dr. Levi said, there are, there are two subpoenas. Fumilayo said, I am here on behalf of the one dated 30th of May, in respect of document A. We don't have anything like that in existence. B to E are coming from the state for logistics, reasons we don't have them yet. We are just with the document listed in R and S, INEC manual and regulations. Mm. Dr. Levi and I said, it is unfair to us. We close our case this week. INEC rejected the subpoena, served on them, they should produce all documents before the close of our case. Mahmoud said, relying on Section 74 Electoral Act, this is impracticable. Now it's actually getting heated here. Mahmoud that had full document to declare half, all of a sudden cannot send, is sending someone with half the document requested by Labour Party in court. Nigerians are talking. Now Justice Tsunami had to say something here. And Justice Tsunami now said, okay, what is the way forward in this application? Dr. Levin I said, my Lord, I pray to this court. I pray to this court, praise that since INEC, having failed to provide the full document requested by the order of this court, that they be mandated by, they be mandated to produce it tomorrow. Mm. The court has requested the petitioners that's Labour Party to provide the document which shows they have made these applications for the documents, stating that Labour Party didn't show enough evidence that they applied for the document. Ha. Now, INEC Director of ICT, Lawrence Bayodi, is here as a subpoenaed witness. Bayodi said, I said, I have document listed in paragraph A and B. As for other documents, they aren't available. See, it's still a, a work in progress. Ah, ah. D and E, we don't have them. They don't exist. Ah, ah. Hey. Hey, let's continue. Dr. Oliver and I said, Dr. Oliver has applied to see the certified three copies of the documents presented by INEC from court while praying to the court to prevail on INEC to provide the full document. There's an issuing argument going on back and forth. Something doesn't feel right here. Uh, now, question is, what is going on? Now, Dr. Levi 
applied for adjournment and was granted. Uh, court is hereby adjourned till tomorrow, Wednesday, June 21st, 2023, by 2 p.m. And now, a lot is happening. A quick highlight on what happened here. Now, They've been applying for documents, ask, literally asking Agnes, Inek, Inek Chama to come to court, but he sent some persons. And now those documents they are applying for are certified through copies. And if they're certified through copies, that means for them to have announced Bola Metunuma as the president, this document exists, literally. So that's why just the same process that happened with, <laughs> with the articles case is literally what is happening here. We are um, a Labour Party's uh, um, advocate of Nigeria, as I'm talking about the legal team, are saying, okay, we've been going back and forth. And some of them who later came uh, representing an chairman are saying, okay, uh, for logistics sakes, we have this, we have that, but we can't give you this because we don't have them. Okay, for better understanding, this is exactly what they said. Now, Fimulayo herself said that she's actually here on behalf of INEC chairman that was called upon as a 30th of May. And she's now saying that in respect of document A, we don't have anything like that in existence. We don't have document A in existence. Then B to E are coming from the state for logistics, reasons we don't have them yet, which means the B to E, they are still bringing it. And the case is supposed to end this week, literally. Now, that to make matters interesting, they're saying we are just with the document listed in R and S. R and S, not R to S, so R and S, then INEC manual regulations. And that's where a, a Dr. Lever got really vexed. He said, come on, it's so unfair to us. We're closing our case this week and INEC is rejecting the subpoena served on them. They should at least produ produce all the documents. Some persons believe that uh, there's a drama playing out here. Now, if this continues, is that see if, is there no some sort of penalty, like just like what um, um, the legal team of Article said, said, maybe going forward, there should be another body entirely that will be in charge of all the documentations while INEC will be in charge of public conducting of the election so that immediately after the election, all documents, there will not be excuses. Give me this, they give. Give me that, they give. Give me this. But it's as if the whole process is as if. Now, you know, the whole thing is looking so wonderful. You have already announced the winner. What are the documents that the processes that took you to that level you don't have? You said they are looking for logistics, they are going to go through a process because of logistics. But you should know that after the elections, there will definitely be days like this. It is not, this is not a new case. It's a case where Nigeria have always, in of almost inception or through the inception of democracy, almost always goes to court to contest for who wins, who won, who didn't win. So it should be INEC chairman should be conversant with this process and keep all documents ready. Well, that's where we're going to wrap it up. Keep it with us again tomorrow on this issue of update. Let's just see that first issue.